Hey, hello and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. This reflex image. If this is your first time visiting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact me. Whereas I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So as you can see, this is my first set of my picture. Actually, try to manipulate. I try to edit. I see people tend to do night shit like this, and I'll be showing you some things I actually learned during this. Something you know about doing night shoot like this is that you need to focus on area that has a lot of ambience. Talking about ambience, I'm talking about the lights at the back. It's going to give it so so much glitter effect. So as you can see, I have much here, but I don't have enough here. And I'm and I would love to use this picture. I don't like this that much, but I love this in particular. So I love to edit this one. So I'll be showing you how to add some ambience to the picture so no further ado let's jump straight into action the first thing first is for you to open our photoshop or to open our photoshop and uh, don't forget i actually shot this picture using raw format so it will be easy for me to edit and also it's shot with canon 6d a 15 millimeter prime length it could not 8600 pro in 8600 bm as the major source of light and i have a 35 20 flash inside the vehicle so this picture was taken by me alongside rena creative you can actually check out his ig and do uh, he's one of the best photographer down there in ibadan and lagos also so first thing first i'll just have to drag it down to my photoshop i'll wait for it to load up as you can see the picture is looking all that nice but it's a little bit overexposed the first thing i'll be doing right now is just to bring down the highlights i'll drag the highlight down i'll drag it down also the white i'll bring down the white a little bit then i'll now go to the shadow i'm going to increase the shadow a little bit so the next thing i'll be doing right now is just to go to my hsl adjustments i'll go to my hsl adjustment so under the skin tone the skin tone represents this orange over here so i'll go to the luminous lumina, i won't mess with the saturation i'll just go to the luminous i'm going to increase it you can see it's going to brighten up my subject skin so if i'm done with that i don't have anything else to do here i can still go back to my temperature then i'm going to reduce the red in my picture by increasing the blue as you can see right now so once i'm done with this the next thing i just need to do is to open my photo my picture down in photoshop and wait for it to load up after doing that the next step is my retouching process uh whereby i'm going to fast forward the process meet you guys at the end of this retouching so let's say i'm done with my retouching right now the next thing i just need to do is just to flatten my layer back as you can see the before and after it's just a basic retouching though it's nothing much so the next thing i need to do is to flatten my layer back together to my background layer for me to do that i also have to click on ctrl shift and e as you can see i flatten my layers back so after doing that the next thing i'll be doing is to separate my subject from the backdrop so this selection does not have to be all that perfect the first thing first duplicate your layer by clicking on ctrl j after doing that, you can use your polygonal laser tool, but firstly, I'll be using my quick selection to start my selection right now. So, after clicking my quick selection, I'm going to click on the second option, which is my addition. I'm going to scroll over my subject like this, as you can see. So, I'm going to pick my polygonal laser tool to perfect the edges of the selection this way. Sorry, addition. I'm going to select one. Just make sure you select the subject out of the backdrop so i'm going to select it like this as you can see right now so i'm not taking too much time here because what i'm bringing in is not that large so let me keep doing that i'll select it this way so after i'm done with the selection right now i'll make sure i select everything after I'm done with selection right now, the next thing I just need to do is to feather my picture. I'm going to feather it. I'll feather by two. I'll click on my OK. Then I'm going to max it up. Something I'll be doing now is something you guys do not see come. You guys do not expect it at all. So I'll just have to go back to my frame manager again. The picture I actually mentioned earlier on, the one with, with enough ambience, which is this. I'll drag it down to my Photoshop again. Drag it down my Photoshop. Now I'm going to open it up 
around this way wait for it to load i don't need to do any adjustments here i just open it in my photoshop i wait for it to load up then i'm going to pick my polygonal like so i'm going to select my subject out of it like this i'll select it like this select my subject out of it like this as you can see then i'm going to right click on it i'll go to fill then i'm going to click on content aware 100 percent opacity my blend mode on normal my color adaptation is on i'll click on ok then i wait for it to load up for me what we want to do right now we want to actually steal this ambience i add to our own picture that we're actually working on right now so let's wait for it to load up first and this is the result it actually give us ctrl d to deselect don't worry about it don't worry about everything you have over here we don't need that so click on your rectangle marker over here now select where the ambience are much there around this way then ctrl j it once you have to turn off your background layer you see you only have the amb ambience here so click on your pick tool then drag it to the document you are working on right now which is this so ctrl t for free transform as you can see expand it expand it until you see if it think around this way is okay around this way is okay drag it down click on your ok but it's giving us a sharp edges over here which you don't like it's showing us if we actually brought it in so for you to actually clean that up create a max on it pick your brush pick your, pick your gradient and make sure the color is on black then scroll over it from down but before you do that make sure you are selecting from black to nothing not from black to white open this up click on black to nothing then scroll up like this until it blends it perfectly for you so it look as if it's actually the not as if you brought it in so that's left, left it this way but the issue I have right now is that it's kind of obvious that you actually crop out the air over here so for us to actually make it look very very real we just have to change the blend mode from here from normal we change it to screen so you can see right now it's going to kill anything relating to black in what we just brought in right now and if the opacity is too much just bring down the opacity a little bit then we are good to go you cannot just add a little bit of color to your picture i will call it a day i'll be adding one of my favorite color which is my natural color to read and i'll give you guys for free to actually download so click on your upper layer go to your adjustment layer click on your color lookup click on load 3d load scroll down until you see the color you want here is my my natural color and boom Look at how nice my color is right now. It's actually collaborating my picture for me without giving me any stress at all. What I just need to do right now is just to reduce the opacity if my color is too much under the opacity. I'll bring it down till I see it. Now look at the before and after of our picture. Very, very simple and nice at the same time. So I hope this video helps. If you just don't forget to like and subscribe and also share with your friends. Someone out there might be in need of this. So see you guys in my next video.